Welcome to Java Geeks 01 Jackson API tutorial section. My name is Murli Gaur and in this tutorial I am going to show you a basic demonstration of Jackson API. You can reach me out to my gmail id javageeks01 at gmail.com for any query and here is my youtube video channel id. Channel ID. So this is as you can see this is a very popular and efficient java based library to serialize any java object to java to json and vice versa means you can convert json to java object and java object to any json either you can convert to the, uh, you can write json value to the uh, either to the directly the file you can either read uh, json file which contains json data and that data will be mapped to the json java object right so this is a very simple tutorial with very basic features uh, uh, I'm going to explain you in which you can also practice on your laptop or a machine okay and moreover this tutorial will be very useful for most of the developers whether they are expert or beginner or intermediate okay so I'm, I'm not going to talk in much details in, in a very complicated way how the complicated programming can be used okay I'm just going to show you a simple way of programming where you can use your Jackson API so this now let's talk on the Jackson feature what are the basic features we have or Jackson provides it's very easy to use means no complicated configuration required you just use the jar file and add in your class path then all set and you can use your Jackson API in your Java library Java code right moreover there is no XML configuration file required to map java object to json and json to java it is all taken care by jackson itself it is very fast other compared to other other library it is very fast and consume less memory space means and is suitable for large object graph or system means uh, when you read json large file json it all loaded into the memory so uh, jackson uh, consider all this uh, all this and takes and, and use less memory so your RAM utilization goes down okay means you use less memory uh, when it's loaded into the memory it's use object graph means uh, there is a tree based structure I hope you have gone through the dome parser where the XML load uh, in the uh, tree based structure format in the same way Jackson also used uh, load all the its object into graph base okay so Jackson creates a clean and compact JSON results which are easy to read means uh, you can uh, just uh, read easily uh, Jackson library does not require any other library apart from JDK uh, as I said uh, it requires only Jackson uh, library I'm talking on the Jackson 1.9 1 1.9 so there is only single file you need uh, it's Jackson all 1.9 it's totally open source and free to use uh, you can even review its source source uh, how it has been how Jackson uh, team has implemented this feature so you can go through there and it, there is no extra licensing cost required okay slide uh, we are going to see uh, what alternative ways or methods Jackson provide to process JSON streaming API which is quite similar to stack parser for example tree model which is quite similar to dome parser for XML and data binding which is quite similar to JAXV so for all these three methods we will talk in the next slide streaming API which is most popular approach among the three it is analogous to stacks parser for example as we discussed so streaming API reads and writes JSON content with discrete events and provide the fastest way to perform read and write operations so in this scenario we have to go for a streaming API let's take an example suppose you have a JSON data in a file which is used in size and if you load all the data using tree model approach in memory your memory consumption will go increase and uh, in the second choice you don't want to read the whole data you want to read the certain set of data like starting first 10 lines of data and on the basis of that uh, data you want to apply some logic so in that scenario you can go for a streaming api and your memory consumption will go down right 
as you don't need to load the complete data. So it gives you high performance. It is fast and convenient because you don't need to load the whole the amount of data. But it requires a small amount of difficulty because you need to handle each and every details of JSON data as it's a discrete event. So each event you have to handle and check what kind of data it, it, it handle, it, it contains and on that data, upon, upon its data, you have to apply logic. String Jackson streaming API, which we have Jackson JSON generator and JSON parser. Although there are other API as well, streaming API, but we will talk on these two API majorly, which is, which are, because these are quite important. So JSON generator writes JSON and JSON parser reads JSON data. The tree model, uh, which is analogous to DOM parser, for example, it loads all your JSON data into memory, which is in which is mutable, and it's create a tree representation of your data, which is JSON document. The tree contains of consists of JSON node. Object mapper builds a tree for you and its tree contains JSON node. So JSON node uh, is these are pluggable means you can add JSON data, JSON node to from your tree. Okay, you can delete from tree and you can add another JSON node your your existing tree. So on the basis of tree, you can uh, your final data can uh, create it and that data you can write back to your file. So you on using tree model approach, uh, you can change your data as per the requirement. Means you can add JSON node, you can delete JSON node, or you can update any JSON node according to your business need, right? So this is a flexible approach you can use in your app project as per requirement. So here is the tree model API uh, graphical representation, tree model data representation. We have node 1 and under node 8, node 9, under node 8 we have node 6 and node 10 and so on. Okay. We will talk about these in next chapter. So we have data binding API which is analogous to JXB parser for XML. It converts JSON data to POJO using property accessor and using annotation. So you uh, JXON also provide annotation based capabilities. Data binding is a two types, simple data binding and full data binding. Simple data binding converts your JSON data to and from Java, maps, list, string, number, boolean and null object. So means if you have saved your, as your, your data contains maps, list or boolean or number, that data also will convert it to your JSON data and vice versa. Boolean data binding convert any Java object, any Java object to JSON. Like you have a POJO class employee or student which holds some amount of data and you want to save that data to JSON. So using data binding, you can do so. Here is the link I have given here from where you can download Jackson jar library 1.9 library and you can add in your project class path net uh, id can be any either eclipse or uh, net beans or any other id of your choice in the next chapter i am going to show you tutorial 1 and tutorial 2 to give the basic overview of jackson api in market we have a couple of choice available as open source just like jackson we have google json which is also quite popular we have json lib plex json json io jensen and jensen ij you can use as per your choice or as per your project requirement thanks for watching this video